Hello. Um, don't know what's too loud. Hello, can you hear me? Check, check. One, two. Okay, that might have been a little too much. Hello, welcome. Um, so, this is Procreate. This is what I used to draw with. Um, and it's not what I always used, but it's what I use now. Um, um, and I'm just going to go through how I draw my process and I don't know, something like that. So, first I start out with a square. Um, I don't usually start out with a square, but um, I just think it helps a lot. I have tons of brushes. Um, I have the basics that they give you. But then I actually specified my own brushes for kind of my skills. Uh, it's really important if you're doing digital arts. Um, these are all the same brush, but I have them used for different things. Especially because it's a nice edge that you have right there. Really enjoy that. So, and that one too. But it's all little subtle differences. Uh, the original actually had this weird grainy look to it, so if we uh, go back to this, it has on the ends of the tape rings as these weird edges, which I didn't like, so I modified it to something I did enjoy. But my whole process is that I start out with a little circle. Start with the circle. And I think, okay, what do I want to do? So, it's actually really cool on the iPad now, with the new update, you can actually pull up Pinterest and what other things over here. So, there we go. We got Pinterest up over here. It's got the poses. It's got all these different things. But for me, I want to do, uh, let's see. Let's just do gorillas. Let's make something gorillas. Sure. Now, they got these awesome ideas and concepts from other artists over here. But, hmm. Usually I just, you know, do whatever. So, let's draw a picture of 2D. Why not? So, Usually I try to go in the gorilla style, which is really annoying to have to copy and replicate multiple different times because it just gets too much. Um, uh, and, you know, <laughs> don't want to have to redo that a lot. So colors that I use, I use these right here, these ever use. These are really important for art stuff to me because I really enjoy just how these look when I'm sketching. This is what I use for general shapes. These right here. Because the opacity on these, when you turn them down, it it shows up the least. Red is a little bit of a midway, and black shows up the most. So we start out with some sort of a head shape. Get rid of that bottom layer right there can actually make some guidelines. Now everybody's different. They're all different with the way that they make stuff and produce stuff and it shouldn't mean that you know the way that I do stuff is the way that you do stuff. I operate in a different way. I think differently. I plan way too much. <laughs> um, but all in all I think that's what makes me enjoy the end product the most. So take this blow it up to the size we want, which I think I'm going to do something like that. Now, art really does take a lot of time, but if I'm just doodling something for the sake of a video, let's just do this. Now, for hair, what I usually do is that I keep my lines together, and with the hand shape, I just kind of, I don't let my pen get off the page. I let myself kind of go crazy with it. Um, and that's how you can kind of get the hair going good. And I know this doesn't look a lot like 2D, but 
Whoops. <laughs> um, we'll just kind of, you know, throw something together at the end right here. And he's got too much of a chin. Let's curve it out. Now, there we go. Let's just put eyes on him. Ooh. <laughs> Never mind. Let's let's fix that. So, sorry about my brother in the back. Oof. He wonders why his YouTube channel's not doing so good. It's because he's, it's because he does this. He just you know makes noises during whatever he's doing. He doesn't actually like try to sit down and you know plan out anything or do anything like that. Now, this is a really crummy 2D, but that's what a sketch is for. A sketch is to make something that is not going to be a final piece. Now, it took me about a couple minutes to throw this together. Um, and that's amazing. Throwing something together in a couple minutes is perfect. You shouldn't disparage yourself for how long it takes you, though. Um, this right here took me about four hours. And it was enjoyable. See, watch this. If we actually watch the time lapse, I actually started with like 20 different styles for it. Whole time lapse is just basically half of it is just me sketching out different bodies, trying to make sure that they're in the right shapes, proportions, all that different stuff. And even then, you don't know what you're going to want to do for the dynamics. Um, and to an extent, you just have to freeball it. You just have to say, okay, I'm going to start with something, and I'm not going to disparage myself based on what it looks like. I'm going to stick with it to the end. Um, and that's what I thought of. I used references immensely for this. I pulled up Pinterest, put it on a sidebar, and was able to put my references up. But you can do whatever you want. You can put your references on the side or on your canvas with you. Um, and sketching, see, I spent meticulous amount of time sketching and making sure that everything looked right the way that I wanted it. If it didn't look right, I went back and fixed it or I edited it and did whatever. Uh, I spent like 20 different times making these lips. And then the nose is the worst part. Watch the nose. I go through about 20 different noses. See, there we go. <laughs> Finally settled one. Uh, hair, I just went crazy with it. Um, and I really enjoyed the hair that I went with for this. Um, I went with a final sketch. Actually, this was the line art that I used. I used, free, there we go. I used a really nice line art for this. Um, something that had a little bit of a rough edge, but was still really clean uh, for a nice little look. And pressure is really the aim of the game when it comes to your line art and what you do with it. Um, but really, it's not a lot of hard stuff to do. You just takes practice. And people really don't enjoy practice. I don't enjoy practicing things. But if you work in the practices to what you're drawing, then it'll be amazing. Now for me, I worked on realism with this. I worked on shading for this. I worked on hands with this. Stuff that I usually am not that good at. So it really did help me in the end to kind of, you know, get better at it all. And if you look, it took me a while to figure out what kind of shading style I wanted to go for this. But when I found it, it was perfect. Um, and that's how you should be. You shouldn't settle for one certain way to do it. You should explore and, you know, basically, like, work with it until you find something that you really like. Um, added the hair, blended out the hair, added a little bit of a shine in the eyes. Did some general shading on the whole body. Um, and then I used actually the light tools that they have in the uh, in Procreate to go around and do this. Kind of add the extra features. Which is really awesome. I really enjoyed the extra features that I added. Uh, and that side right there is actually really nice. The way that I shaded it and blended it and all that. So there, that's all of it. <laughs> So it's really awesome. Art is just about focusing on what you need to do and how you want to do it. So I hope this helps. Um, please subscribe. Do whatever you want. Like. I don't care. <laughs> uh, have a great rest of your day.